Hi there, this is Brian McInerney with the National Weather Service located in Salt Lake City. Today is Thursday, February 6, 2014. This is a mountain weather briefing for use of snow safety planning in the mountain community. We've got a storm coming and let's take a look at it. So what we're looking at now is the, are the winds at about 11,500 feet and I'd like you to direct your attention to this feature right over here by the Hawaiian Islands. This jet is going to bring copious amounts of moisture over this area right here and then down into Utah, Utah in a westerly flow. This is the moisture and this is the storm that's going to produce all of the uh, expected snowfall. So when we look at the northern Wasatch, snow totals 25 to 40 inches of snow in this event with snow water equivalent of 3 to 4 inches. It's going to start on Friday and it's going to end on Monday. When we go to the central and southern Wasatch, we're looking at snow totals about 20 to 30 inches with snow water equivalent of 2 to 3 inches starting on Friday, ending on Monday. When we look at the Uinta Mountain Range, our snow totals are 12 to 24 inches with snow water equivalent of 1.5 to 2.5. Again, that same start and end. When we look at the northern Wasatch a little closer, we see the greatest snow intensity is going to be Saturday late, early Sunday with 2 inches per hour. At the snow level at the onset of the storm will be 4,000 feet over the valley floors. But the snow level at the end of the storm could be up to 6,500 depending on the intensity of the storm. Some of that could come as rainfall. The new snow density trends are going to be increasing, so we're going to have some upside down snow as density increases. When we look at the winds, what we see right away are the winds are going to be sustained above 30 miles an hour through this entire event from 12 p.m. Friday through 6 p.m. Saturday and then beyond. We're also going to see winds at 75 mile an hour gust from 6 a.m. Saturday to noon on Saturday during that time with sustained winds about 40 miles an hour. And this is at Ogden Peak at about 9,500 feet. When we look at the central Wasatch, I combine this with the Uintas as these two are very similar. Our greatest snow intensity is late Saturday, Sunday morning with peak snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. The snow level at the onset is going to be at the valley floor, but again, this same area could have uh, rain up to 6,500 feet if the snow intensity doesn't keep going. The new so snow density trends are going to be increasing in this area also. When we look at the winds, what we see right away is the gusts could be over 90 miles an hour on Saturday morning, between Saturday morning and Saturday noon. Uh, the sustained winds during that time up to 60 miles an hour. So it's going to be quite windy. It's coming out of the west. Uh, it could be quite the event. I think the, the takeaway message for this is we've got a lot of sweet. And we've got a lot of loading up to 4 inches of water. We're going to have increase, increasing density snow, so we're going to, it's going to be upside down with the heavier density snow on the lighter density, and the winds are going to be continually out of the west and west-northwest during this event. You can contact us on any of these platforms. I do advise you look at the Utah Avalanche Center, utahavalanchecenter.org, because they do a very good job with this. This is Brian McInerney, and this briefing will take a look at the storm we've got and the avalanche conditions associated with it. I do appreciate time taking to listen to this. Thank you.